welcome to Garden Invaders. The show that takes on gardens that no one else would touch. We're the team to turn a wilderness into a garden to be proud of. Now, I've done a design and of course the muscle and all the hard landscaping comes for free. But there is a catch, because in order to win some fantastic plants, the garden owners have to answer some tricky gardening questions. That's right, isn't it? What are you saying? Oh, you're not listening. No, I was just trying to work out the controls. <laughs> Today we're in Coventry to invade the garden of Peggy Lamont and her boyfriend Jason Sayers. Although they've lived in the house for nearly two years, they've lacked the time, and more importantly the know-how, to tackle their rather drab garden. This sounds like the perfect job for garden invaders. You look very lax today, you two, but you're very busy, aren't you? Yes. What did you do? Uh, police officers. Right, so why is that an excuse for not doing your garden then? The garden here is um, for myself. Peggy's given it uh, as asked you to come along because uh, I enjoyed the garden, but being a police officer working shifts, uh, they never get the, the chance to, um, to work in the garden myself. So, as you can see, it's uh, a barren waste ground at the moment. It's not good, is it? So, seriously, though, why, why do you want to do it for? Since we've been living here about 18 months, um, Jason's done everything in the house, he does all the ironing all the washing, all the cooking, all the cleaning, generally all the looking after of me. <laughs> and so it was about time I did something. So what do you really want in the garden then? Well, uh, we've got a dying pond at the moment, which is a real shame because we found some newts in there and we've also got some fish. And also we've been trying to attract some more wildlife into the garden, birds, butterflies. Well, the pond's a good it? start, but I think you might need a few more plants <laughs> to actually get more wildlife <laughs> in. And you like your cooking, don't you? I do, I do. Um, as you can see, I've got a, my herb garden, which is looking a bit struggled right. at the moment. It's all right. It's not but, bad. Um, Bits of it are. That's all right. But uh, I do like it. I do like to grow my herbs. So on that basis, you're going to be doing the gardening, presumably. Yes. Okay. So which is fair enough. Have you been revising a bit of? I have horticultural knowledge. I have. I've been to the uh, library. Yeah. And I've got some books out, and mm -hmm. I've been reading, studying. Mm -hmm. um, so you're fairly confident then? No. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the no. problem with gardening books. The more gardening books you read, the more you realise you don't know. Well, that's right, yeah. I mean, I know a little bit about my herbs. Right. Um, a little bit about grass, and that'll right. do. We'll go next door. We'll leave them to it. Lovely. Right. We'll have to do some digging then. Excellent. <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is put something into the garden. Anything, in fact. Thanks, Fantastic. Ryan. So we're going to have a pergola down this side of the garden and that's going to put some height in and we can grow some plants up that. And then it's going to go across the back as well and combine with some willow panels, it's going to screen that garage because at the moment that's the only view you've got <laughs> and it's not the best view in the world. So we're going to make that a lot more attractive and we're going to mimic that pergola down at the other end of the garden as well to balance the whole thing. Fantastic. And then finally, you've got this pond which is great for wildlife, so we're going to sort that out. There you go. You're an invader for the day, thanks Thank Ben. You. So you're going to have to put that there. It looks far too big for you, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And now we've got to dig some holes for the pergola. If you're going to have stepping stones in your lawn, set them so that they're slightly below the grass level so you can just run the mower over the top. But even if you do that, the grass is still going to encroach. So once a year in spring, get an old bread knife and just slice round the edge. You can feel where the edge of the slab is. And then you can just lift Surf away. Now you can still see your garden from here because this is only next door. So try to avoid looking too much okay. out in that direction, okay? No problem. Very important. You right. still can't see the garden. In this garden, your neighbours, yes. we've got all the plants that could be in your garden in here now. Right. They're in groups and it's your job to win as many of them as possible to get them in the garden. It's quite a big garden yours, so you do right. need a lot of plants. Right. A bit more pressure then. Yeah. <laughs> What were you saying about being in the dock compared to here? Oh, well, you know. <laughs> Harder facing the challenge of garden invaders than being questioned in the dock for two and a half hours on a case. Right. We do like to make people sweat. Good. Now, they're all laid out in groups. First group here, interesting group. It's kind of a little and large show. Right. Some height in terms of a small tree, but also ground cover in terms of geraniums. Great. Right. OK, lots of plants there, worth right. having. Next group, you like your wildlife. Yep. So these are wildlife tractors. Brilliant. Okay, scented and lovely, and they'll all be attracted to that, the okay. bees or whatever. Then climbers, 
down here, probably this is the bit that's most interesting to you. My herbs. Yeah, herbs. Herbs. Okay, because you've got some herbs already, but you know, you love yep. your cooking, so you can have some more. Great. Finally, over there behind you, you like your cooking, you need to be able to cook outdoors. Right. Okay, so the big barbecue. The barbecue. Now, that's not down to you, that's down to Peggy. She's got to answer a gardening question at the end of the day to win that. Right. Okay, your okay. job is simply to get the plants. The plants. Happy about that? Happy, very it's happy. very clear, isn't it? Okay. Okay, we're going to start back there with question one, okay. which is for the sweet gum right. and the ground cover, the geraniums. Okay. The sweet gum is a fantastic plant, and the best thing about it for me is that in the autumn, the foliage changes colour from green, then through oranges and reds to deep claret, all at the same time. And geranium sanguinium, it's a charming British native wildflower, perfect for well-behaved flowering ground cover. Their fine, fresh green foliage making a good summer-long background for the mallow-like flowers. You're looking very nervous now. Right. But they're very nice plants, aren't they? Very nice. Here's your question, good luck. Which tool do you use to level the soil and remove debris after digging? Is it a hoe, is it a trowel, or is it a rake? Hoe. We're going for a hoe as the thing that you'd use to level the soil and remove debris after digging. Yeah. It's a wrong answer. <laughs> Is there any kind of message you'd like to give to the, your fellow officers back in the nick? No. I'm never going to live this down. You're not. The answer is rake. Right. They knew that. Oh dear, oh dear. No, sorry. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now, the only thing to look at in this garden is the garage behind me, which isn't a great view. So what we're doing is we're putting some things in to screen it. We're going to have a willow hurdle here that will screen it there, and in front we'll also have a pergola. And with all the plants that will climb up it, you'll be looking at all of those things in the garden instead of the ugly view behind. Now, this garden was also a blank canvas. There was nothing but wall-to-wall -wall grass. It was pretty boring. So what we've done is put borders down both sides there. And because I'm a designer, I've changed my mind. I was going to put the barbecue up the top, but it was too close to the pond and I was worried that Jason was going to fall in. So instead, we've brought it down here, closer to the kitchen, closer to the herb bed. And we're going to put it again underneath a pergola. So this pergola is going to work with that one over there and sort of define the space and give a sense of enclosure. And also, while you're barbecuing, it'll protect you from the sun. And because the barbecue will be facing this way, you can face your guests rather than have your back turned to them. So hopefully, this will all work and it'll be a great garden. So what exactly do you do as a policeman then? Well, basically, I'm a community officer uh, we're from a government-funded uh, team. We basically go into schools, um, teach kids how to play football, rugby, etc., different sports. But, I mean, honestly, if the kids weren't doing that with you, what would they be doing? Well, they wouldn't have any interest, really, out of school. They'd just be hanging around, um, up to no good, probably. You know, we don't really know, but it gives them something to go for. Bit of an initiative for him today. It's fantastic, isn't it's it? It's good. It's very rewarding. Excellent stuff. Now, more plants required. Rosa flower carpet. Now, this is a popular and well known ground cover rose. It's smaller than some spreading varieties, making more of a mound than a carpet, but very popular, disease free, and very attractive all summer when covered with the small, old fashioned semi double flowers. Digitalis purpurea is much loved by gardeners and by bees. So, Peggy wanted her wildlife in her garden. This is a plant she must have. And Verbascum Jackie produces pale cantaloupe blossoms with rose pink overtones and fuzzy plum rose stamens. Nice plants. <clears throat> Could attract a lot of wildlife into your garden. Here's your question, good luck. In which month would you expect to see crocuses in flower in the UK? Is it March, June or November? March. You're going for March. Why? Guess. Right answer. <sighs> Pressure's off. <laughs> it ended. I've still got that one to go. I'm never going to live that down. <laughs> Good, they can go in the garden. We need an invader to take them in. Right. All right, we'll get Tom to do that. OK. Well done. Thank you. Phew. <laughs> I 
I'm using this pergola to add a third dimension to the garden because it was very, very flat. So what I wanted was to get some height up into the garden. This is a very quick way to do it. I can have one section over there and another L-shaped section over here. So it sort of encloses and defines the garden space, makes it feel a bit more private. Now, the last time we did a structure this big in a garden, the gang banged on about it for ages, but this is not going up to too badly, is it? Not too much of a problem. The only yeah. problem you have made me is that I've had to cut, see that end there? That's machine cut. Yeah. I've had to cut that end off there so that right. it doesn't go across the boundary. Because you're not actually allowed to have things overhanging. You're not. No, although that is the fence there, there is an imaginary boundary and you're not allowed to put anything through it. Right, okay. But otherwise everything's pre-slotted, isn't it? So it's just pretty much all going together. Slotted and notched and drops in like a dream. Excellent. Now we've got a bit more to do down here, but I think when it's finished, the garden will pretty much look mature. So, one right, one wrong. Very important you get this right. Okay. Because they're going to get very deficient in plants and I'm just about to go and see how they're getting on and break the bad news to them. Right. All right, okay. Yeah. Yep. The next plants up for grabs are the climbers. Star Jasmine is a woody evergreen climber with rich dark green leaves which turn bronze in winter. From mid to late summer it produces pure white fragrant flowers. And Lanicera, yes honeysuckle, it's everyone's favourite and never out of place. Boy, do you need them. Yep. Here's your question. Good luck. Which of these vegetables requires support while growing? Is it onions, potatoes, or tomatoes? Tomatoes. You seem quite sure about that. Grandad grows them. He's got greenhouses full of them. But maybe your granddad was a bit off the wall. No. Maybe he was a maverick. No, not at all. It's the right answer. Thank you, Grandad. I'm going to take them into the garden, see how they're getting on. You stay here. Lovely. Don't go anywhere, because no. I'm going to come back, and then we're going to get these for you. OK, lovely. All right, OK. Brilliant. See you in a minute. Can I just say, boys, these are all a bit loose and wobbly. They need sorting out. Now. Hey, what? Plants for you first, delivery. Thank you very much indeed. From your man. Fantastic. All right. How's it going? Yeah, pretty well. Things are coming on. We've got this screen up here so you can't see the garage at the end. And this mm. stepping stone path means you can get there year round without walking on the wet grass. All right, very practical. Very practical. You've got to have that in the garden. It's not all about how yeah. it looks, you know. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've got the pergola, so that's yeah. all up. Heights in the garden. What have you been up to? Carrying these slabs, which are very heavy, removing some of the old ones, doing a bit of digging. You found some old ones? Yes. Circular ones? Horrible ones. Mm, not nice, huh? All right. they're gone. So you brought all those in yourself, a bit of digging. Uh-huh. Is it kind of taking on the shape of what you wanted or not? Well, it's not what I expected at all, but I think it's... Well, what did you expect then? I expected minimalist gravel and a few spiky grass. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> so is, is this all right? Because it's quite a big structure, this. I mean, it's a huge... In fact, it's a huge structure for a quite small garden. Yeah, but the thing is, once we've got climbers all over this, it looks like a load of wood at the moment. But in only a couple of years, it'll be covered in green and flowers and it'll look fantastic. One thing, just stay there two secs. Okay. At Christmas, could you buy Jason one of those? Okay. <laughs> A change of level can be a problem in a garden. Over here, one blue engineering brick wall like this, two slabs on top, and actually make a little feature out of the step. It'll look lovely. Garden's looking good, but a long way from finished. Right. OK. But then everything transforms dramatically in the last hour in a garden. OK. Nicknames. Right. OK, obviously policemen must have nicknames because Nick names would be appropriate, wouldn't it? Yeah. And what's yours? Um, well, actually, I've got one of two. Mm -hmm. One's uh, Trevor. Why? Um, I think it's clever, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can guess why. And the other one is uh, Leo. Why? Oh, my surname's Sayers. <laughs> <laughs> Very imaginative. Well, yeah, that's a policeman for you. What will it be now, though, do you think, on the basis of having got that first question wrong? I've no idea. Oh. Could have something to do with rake, though. Wow, I'm scared to think now. Yeah, well, they might just stick with Trevor. They may do. 
<laughs> it just reinforces it, doesn't it? You need more plants. Yes. As ever. Right. These are the plants you really want because they're your herbs. Herbs. Salvia superba blue queen. Like most members of the sage family, this is a sun-loving plant. And the wonderful thing about it is it seems to hold the light at the end of the day when its flowers gleam in the dusky light. Thyme is a fantastic herb. There are literally hundreds of different varieties and we've got a few here for Peggy and Jason. They're mat forming and produce a brilliant flowering ground cover. And finally, French lavender. It produces spikes of large pale violet blue flags from mid to late summer above grey green aromatic leaves. This is an exciting new introduction to the French lavender range, which has a compact yet upright habit, making it perfect for all gardens and in particular patio pots. Three plants in front of you. Okay. I want you to identify as many of them as you can. Okay. One, two, or three. Depending on how many you get, that'll determine how many of the herbs I give you. Right. Off you go. Okay. That's a mint. Next. Time. So that's the time. Next. <clears throat> basil. I think that one's basil. Basil. Yes. So you think that's basil? Yep. That's thyme. Time. And that's mint. Mint. Yep. Absolutely rock on. Correct. Brilliant. You get them all. Thank you. Fantastic. We'll whisk those into the garden as well. One final thing for you to do: a little DIY challenge. Right. We want you to crochet a truncheon cover. No problem. Jason does everything in the house, including the cooking, so this is a special barbecue area just for him. Now, what I've done is set it aside from the main patio, so it's out of the way, people aren't going to sort of burn themselves on the barbecue or anything like that, it's quite safe, I'm not going to mill around. But one thing that people never have near a barbecue is somewhere to put the food before and after they've cooked it. So what we're doing here is building a sort of table. It's made out of these uh, heavy duty new sleepers, so it's nice and solid, it's all this tantalised wood. And then what we're going to do is on the top, we're going to put a stone slab like this. How are you actually going to fix these on, Dave? Oh, right, excellent. Epoxy resin. <laughs> and how tall is this? What have you done here? This is uh, the same height as a kitchen worktop, so it's feel like you're in your kitchen, obviously outside, but it's perfect height. It's about 900. So you don't have to bend down. You don't have to like bend that. down, that'll be spot on. Perfect. Excuse right. me, excuse me. Oh. Could you keep the noise down, please? <laughs> Thank Sorry, you very mate. much. Thank you. A bit no quiet. <laughs> Project time. All right. Okay. Very simple, you have all the ingredients in front of you. Paint, compost, herbs, and a planter. Right. All right, all you've got to do is combine them all in some kind of artistic fashion. Okay, thank you very much. I'll be back later. Now they really like wildlife in the garden, so what I thought we could do with these bits of pergola is just notch them all together, get some sort of tabletop on there, and then we can have a bird table. Fine. I think it's vital to have a pond in the garden, no matter how small, because it brings in so much wildlife. You'll get birds and mammals, things like foxes and hedgehogs will come and drink here. And of course you get all the stuff that's in the pond, you'll get newts and you'll get frogs and toads, which will eat slugs as well, so it's very good for the garden. And of course there's insect life, it brings so much in, it's fantastic. But it, if anything falls in, it needs to be able to get out. So what we've done here is put a bit of a beach in. The pond is quite shallow at this end, so by putting these cobbles in and just mounding them up, you get this beach and things can get in and out nice and easily. Some plants around the edge of the pond will hide the liner and shrubs like this will actually give shelter so when shy animals come to the pond, they can come out, drink and then pop back again. Fantastic. Hey, nice job. You'll probably have to thin that out at some point though because that's going to get pretty fired up in there. Okay. All right, but it's a nice job. No pop worries. inside. I'll come and get you when the garden's finished. So 
Apparently I've done it, but a bit limited on materials. So I've used a bit of four by four, planed off the corners, just to give it a bit of a chamfer on there. Then crossed these over like this to match the pergola to give it a nice feel. Okay, like that. Then what I've done on the top, I was gonna try and get a, a tile or something to go in there, couldn't find that. So I got an old plate, bonded that in there. The important thing about a bird table is you must be able to clean it. If you don't clean it, you've got a real chance of passing on disease from unhealthy birds to healthy birds, and then a bird table could do more harm than good, so you must keep it really, really clean. So a plate's quite a good idea in that sense, because you can clean it up, and you can put a little bit of water in the summer for a bird bath or whatever. What do you think? It's fine. Great. Time to put your brain in gear. Yes. Miss Peggy. Thank you. All right. Up for grabs. All singing, all dancing, gas barbecue. None of that faffing about with coal and all that kind of thing of fire lighters. You can get straight out of there cooking, eating, drinking, having a good time. Okay? Cushions, all the bits and pieces for your guests to relax, a few bits and pieces, candles, all that kind of stuff. To get the goodies, all you have to do is answer this question correctly. Okay. okay? Good luck. You're looking Thank very you. nervous. I am. You've got a big smile on your face all day and now look at you. It's very, very straightforward this. It's almost embarrassing having to ask it. I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> Which Spanish city gives its name to the type of orange used to make marmalade? Is it Seville, Madrid or Malaga? Seville. You seem very sure of that, Peggy. It's the only one I've heard of. Correct answer. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Well done. OK. All that lot will be in the garden later on. Your work is finished. You can go and chill out indoors. OK, but don't tell him anything about the garden. And I'll come and get both of you when the garden's finished. OK? Thank you. Excellent. Cheers. Thyme is an excellent plant because it flowers for quite a long time through the summer and bees absolutely love it. You get them swarming all over it. But the one problem with it, it can become quite leggy. So what you have to do after it's flowered, go over it with shears, give it a damn good haircut and then it'll be nice and bushy. This is Philadelphus, the mock orange. The great thing about this is it has beautiful flowers during the summer, but also it smells absolutely fantastic. But it's a very low maintenance bush. If it gets out of hand, if it gets too big, you can just hack it down, hack whole branches out. It's indestructible. It will always grow back. If you want an easy climber, you can't do much better than a honeysuckle. It'll grow pretty fast and spread over a trellis or a fence quite easily if you put wires up. Now, the good thing about this is that it's scented, and it's scented in the evening when a lot of other things aren't. And if it's a still evening and you get that perfume lingering in the air, it's really quite amazing. Those eyes shut. Describe to us what your garden looked like this morning. Um, it was quite bare, um, burnt grass, a few little bushes around the sides. Um, pretty unkempt, to be fair. Not very nice, really. No, Nothing not to be at proud all. of. Not really. No. Couldn't relax in it. No, not at all. Okay. Now remember, this is a present. Yep. From Peggy to you. It was a very nice chat. We do the ironing and everything. <laughs> okay. And the cooking. And, and the, the cooking. cooking. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Take a look at your new garden. Open your eyes. Wow. Wow, that's brilliant. It's fantastic. We've got a bit of a barbecue area going on over here. Yeah. Thanks. Because Peggy, Peggy. the barbecue. Oh, for brilliant. You. Done. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got the sort of food preparation table and everything there as well. So you've got plenty of places to put stuff. Brilliant. A little pergola so you don't get burnt, sunburnt. No. While you're cooking. Brilliant. Now the grass doesn't look at its best now because we've been walking all over it all day and it's right. impossible to get it look great after. But that will that. come back though. If you water that, but importantly you feed it and mow it regularly, right. okay. uh, that will recover remarkably. Brilliant. 
looks great. And we've screened out a lot of that garage at the end. Unfortunately, someone didn't win one of the trees. Right. So it wasn't as easy as we thought it was going to be. Um, but we've got lots of climbs then. When all this grows, and it shouldn't take too long, right. you won't have all this wood to look at. You have lots of green plants and flowers and that sort of stuff. And you hardly notice that garage at all. And at the end, Mark has built a fantastic bird table. I think you can see there. See it's it? great. Run through what you've been doing today, Peggy. Lifting slabs, digging edges, planting plants, etc. I've been making her work. How similar or different is this to what you had in mind? I didn't expect the height, but it's brilliant. It really is good. Because from it, here it even screens out the next yeah. door's garage and the house over yeah, there as well. it's brilliant. And we've got edges to the garden now where it was just completely flat. Well, it must have been grass. pretty hard to mow the grass up against that fence as well. Well, it was. It was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's, it was in the state it was, to be fair. So it should be a lot easier to look after now, Oh, I it's think, brilliant. Well. It's fantastic. And what does it mean for both of you? I mean, first you, Peggy. I mean, obviously, you wanted this as a present. What does it mean to you to have this done in a day so you can now hand over the present to...? It's brilliant. Save me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you owe us big own? time. I do, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. We can actually spend some time out here now and... Um, you know, it'll, it's like a whole new place for us to be. Fantastic. And for you, mate? It's brilliant. It's just somewhere, like I say, we can relax. I can go and hide, get away from the ironing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just chill out. It's fantastic. Don't forget to look after it, lots of watering. All right, take care. Right. See you soon. Nice one. All right, yeah, it's good. A lot of work there because I mean, there's an awful lot of woodwork in that garden. Yeah, big structures. I thought, I thought you kind of over pergolaed yourself, to be fair. But I think we got out of it with lots of climbs. Yeah, no, nice one. All right, that's it, another garden sorted. We'll see you next time. Come on, Andy. It's not big and it's not clever. It's certainly not funny. <laughs> <laughs>